And by the way, WikiLeaks just came out with lots of really unbelievable things just minutes ago. In fact, I almost delayed this speech by about two hours. It's so interesting. Donald Trump talking about the WikiLeaks hack into Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta's private email server. Reuters is reporting the emails show the Qatari government appearing to pledge a million dollars to the Clinton Foundation while Hillary Clinton was still serving as Secretary of State. This despite Clinton's agreement that the foundation would not accept foreign government money without State Department review beforehand. The panel is back with us. Bakari, let me start with you. Doesn't Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton, don't they owe an explanation at the very least on this... Well on this seeming uh, skirting of the rules? Well, the first thing is, when I read the Reuters article, what it doesn't show is that the Clinton Foundation actually got the million dollars. What it doesn't show is that there was any ethical breach. I mean, that, that is, we're trying to make something out of nothing here. All, it, all the email does show is that they wanted time with Bill Clinton and they wanted to present a check. We don't know what happened after that point. So I think we're actually missing the larger issue here, though. After we talk about what's in these emails, people want to just legitimize and normalize these emails. What we're talking about is a government, an outside government, the Russian government, attempting to undermine our democracy. And we're normalizing that. We're acting as if that is something that should happen in today's America, and it should not. We know that these hacks come from uh, the Russian government. We know WikiLeaks is acting as a foreign agent. But we're still normalizing it but, but, in mainstream media. Let me just ask you this, Alice, because the, 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 forgetting whether or not the Russians are trying to play a role in this, and, and that is a serious issue, I don't want to belittle it, but... Aren't Republicans playing with fire here by accepting and applauding WikiLeaks? Because at some point they're going to run, uh, WikiLeaks and the Russian hackers or whomever are going to run out of people to hack who are Democrats. And they're going to say, well, let's take a look at what Rudy Giuliani's got going on. And, and at, at that point, it will be impossible for Republicans to say, wait a second, these are stolen documents. We can't, we can't give credence to them. Well, clearly, I mean, the, the source of it and the timing of it does indicate that Russians have a hand in this and that they are trying to influence the, the outcome of, of this election, without a doubt. And uh, yes, I, I think uh, embracing them too much is a risk for Republicans. But at the, at the end of the day, I think what we have seen in these email leaks further confirms what we already knew from other emails, that there was evidence of pay-for-play and, and uh, conflicts of interest between Hillary Clinton's Secretary of uh, State Department and the Clinton Foundation. And this just goes to show that uh, the Clinton Foundation should have been shut down while she was Secretary of State, and it certainly should be shut down if she were to win, because there are clearly conflicts, as seen in this latest uh, email dump, and as we've seen in the past. I don't want to uh, end the panel without um, uh, talking at least a little bit about the charges about a rigged election coming. We heard Mayor Giuliani basically saying, if it's a close election in some states, uh, there are going to be questions about whether or not it was rigged, lending credence to what Donald Trump is saying. You're from one of the battleground states, North Carolina, where it is likely going to be close, and it could be one or two points either way. Do you have any concerns about Mayor Giuliani, Donald Trump, others? calling into question election results. Well, I think we do have to look at this issue and we have to be vigilant. And I think that's what Donald Trump is saying. I think he is saying that, especially in the states that it's going to be close, be out there and, and aware of, of what is happening through the election. Look, we can't deny the fact that there's collusion happening here. You know, the WikiLeaks emails, the, this, all of the scandals, the Department of Justice, the FBI, you go on and on and on, and it's all starting to come out in these WikiLeaks emails leaks. And of course, cybersecurity is so important. So that's another issue that we have to address. But we cannot dismiss the fact that this is just a little bit too strange, that all of this is happening at the same time, and we're about to have this very, very important election. Well, th what's undermining our democracy is Russian influence. Uh, they play this game all around the world, right? They, they went into Europe, they, they go into other countries, they try to destabilize the democratic system. And that's what they're trying to do here. And, and uh, Rudy maybe unwittingly, is feeding into the Russians' goal here to undermine faith in our democracy. Far better men than Rudy Giuliani or Donald Trump gave their lives for this democracy. And the notion that politicians like them, for their own narrow interests and helping Putin's interests, would undermine our faith in our democracy, it's despicable. It, and, it, and as a matter of empirical data, the Brennan Center for Justice has looked at this. It, it, voter uh, fraud almost never, ever occurs. The Bush Justice Department had a whole task force on this, and I think they had like a dozen cases out of hundreds of millions of voters. So it, it, in actual fact, voters need to know this is the greatest democracy in the face of the earth and the cleanest. And it's been proved even by the Bush Justice Department. And for Rudy or for Trump to undermine that is despicable. The Trump campaign and Trump supporters and something that the congressman just said, that 
they are encouraging this behavior where we're going to go out and watch and be vigilant and see what happens. And, and when you read some of the quotes that have been made by his supporters at his rallies, it even gets to the point of we're going to intimidate. We just want them to feel. One guy said, I want to go out and I'm going to find all the Muslims and African Americans and, and Hispanics and people who don't speak American, and I don't want to do any, any harm to them. That's I a just, quote, speak American. Yeah, and I just, want to, yeah. I just want to make them nervous. We've come too far in this country where we've intimidated at polls for this to still occur. We have to leave it there, unfortunately. Great panel. Thank you one and all for being here.